here comes the true test of how good this side can be this season. The last couple of episodes, our first month in the championship, we played six teams that we expected probably going to be better than us for the majority of the period of this season. They're certainly better than us at this early stage of our time at this level. So we expected to lose the majority of those games. This month, Birmingham, Luton and Cardiff are all teams that you would expect us to beat. However, Birmingham are having a very good season so far. They've sat in the top half. Middlesbrough are sat mid-table. Barnsley, the side that came up after winning League One last year and came up with us to this level, are actually sat fourth in the table so far. So, barring a phenomenal season so far, rather understandably, we'll be playing Cardiff, who are 23rd, Luton, who are 18th, and Middlesbrough, who are 11th, as our three played games today. We will simulate Birmingham, who are 7th, and Barnsley, who are 3rd, not 4th. Joint 2nd, in fact, and unbeaten thus far this season. This is the true test. I've been saying that we didn't expect to get many wins, or any wins at all, from the first month in the last two episodes. Now we need to prove in games against lesser sides in this division that we deserve to be in this division and don't believe that we are one of those lesser sides. Don Brown has grown yet further to 76 as you can see there. There's been some calls for Page to be dropped from the starting 11 and for Wilson to come up in his place. I am willing to give that a go for a couple of uh, episodes to see how that pans out. So we will do that here. And we'll give him a we'll give him a start. There have been a couple of issues with Page's um, defensive performances in recent games. So even though he's slightly lower rated, we will give Wilson the start. However, we are going to be simulating this game against Birmingham. The games we'll play today are Middlesbrough, Luton, and Cardiff City. So cracking on with the first game of the episode, we shall hope to maybe take a point. We are yet to win a game this season, of course. Do drop the video a like though if you're enjoying this fourth season and enjoying the RTG save as a whole. Do subscribe if you aren't already and if you are already subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell. I've had multiple people come to me on Twitter, in Twitch chat, saying that my videos aren't showing up in their sub boxes. If you hit that notification bell, you will get a notification on your phone, on your YouTube app, every single time a video goes live. You won't miss one. So definitely make sure that you do that. We do lose to Birmingham by two goals to nil. But with the season they've had so far, that's perhaps to be expected. I'm going to reject that bid for Elliot Griffiths. Yes, it's from West Ham. But I need the numbers at the minute. And at uh, 55 rated or whatever he is, I mean... I don't think he would take that deal anyway, knowing that if he's not getting first team football at a side that's threatened by relegation in the championship, he's not going to get first team football at West Ham United. So uh, I don't feel too bad about rejecting that particular bid. They could play in their wake at here, Middlesbrough. We'll see what we can do. Slightly tired 11, but still certainly fit enough to be able to rise to the challenge, I hope. Mid-table Middlesbrough then. Jack Marriott. At striker for them. They've got British Samba longer on the bench. So some pace there, providing that his physical stats haven't dropped off in this save. A 5-3-2 for, I think, the first time at this level. Number of five at the back formations in Leagues 1 and 2. We haven't encountered too many in the Championship to this point. We'll wait and see if there's a distinct difference between a 5-3-2 of a Championship side and a 5-3-2 of a League 1 team or League 2 team. We'll also judge, not necessarily harshly, but there is a spotlight now on Wilson at left back now that you guys have called for him to be playing in the first team. So we'll wait and see how he can perform. Now he's getting the opportunity to play with higher quality teammates. Aloiezo, oh, that heavy touch. That's a foul, and this certainly is within shooting distance. They like a cheeky shirt tug, don't they, Middlesbrough? Right then, Jack, you can have a crack from here instead. See what he can do. Time it well. Oh, it's on target. Stojanovic gets rid of it. After all, oh, turns it around the post when the defender then gets rid of it. We are really putting the pressure on Middlesbrough here. 
kind of their own doing with the way they've been giving away the fouls, but still, Ngoy across to Campos. Don Brown is there. And Jack Rolls spins well, trying to turn away. And Don Brown is in the box. And Stojanovic with another top save. Jesus, this is the most competitive we've been in a championship game so far, I think. Or at least it's the most dominant we've been in a championship game so far. Campos played in. Campos with the effort. That one's easier to deal with. Brown. Or there to Shea Yojo. Get into the flowing attacking move of things now. And Brown. Oh, it's Rolls! Four-star weak foot. Oh, we've seen a different replay. That was from Jack's free kick. Four-star weak foot on that right-hand side. Not able to turn it home. Oh, look, with the back heel. Agadello to Bowler again. Whipped in and away by Wilson. It's going to drop to Agadello here, though. Oh, it's driven wide. Middlesbrough's best chance of the game so far. Certainly not that well taken. Blackburn losing again, which is good news for us. Is there a team that are around about us in the league? So them dropping points and us potentially picking some up here. At least one, maybe. Maybe even three if Ngoy can bury this. Oh, no! Off the inside of the post. Oh, maybe even three still is what the aim is now. As we push forward in this second half. But it could have been so much easier if we'd have taken ourselves a 1-0 lead there. Julian and Goy desperately close to giving us the advantage. That's the closest we've come so far. And Goy cuts that out nicely. Wilson forward to Conte Sal. Here's Adebayejo. Abadia is there again. Conte Sal back to Abadia. Adebayejo's powered his way through and then stumbles at the vital time. He was in. Oh my god, that's infuriating. He powered through the challenge. Found himself one on one. Then stumbled and lost the ball. <sighs> On moments like that, and Ngoy's post hit, our relegation could be decided either way. Conceição drops the shoulder, turns, oh, turns well, but doesn't shield the ball well enough, and that might be it. Oh, good interception by Cano. There's still time. Just make sure you use the ball properly, Chez. Don't needlessly give it away. And you can have one more chance on goal. Adebayejo turns away from the defender. Got Don Brown here. Here's Alex Conte. Sal! Good save by Stojanovic again. We do have the corner. Their keeper has kept them in this. Ethan Clark delivers. Cano could be up. Lucas wins the head. I'm going to challenge the keeper and try and force a mistake, which we did do. But nobody can make pay. And someone's gone down on his... Severely hurt there, getting to his feet now. I'm not sure who that is. Number 24, I think that might be Don Brown. Can't quite tell from the uh, look of the player there, unfortunately. Whoever it was, hopefully they're okay. We dominated the game, but we just could not get that winner. Another clean sheet, though, which is very pleasing indeed. Cardiff lost again, which is good news for us. Luton lost again, which is good news for us. Oh, man. No win in eight matches at the minute. We don't lack solutions. We've had a couple of solutions. We just haven't been able to put them away. Uh, we should have won that one, though. I have to say that. We should have won that one. Do you aim going for a nil-nil draw? No. Our defence deserves praise, but we don't go, up, go into every game looking for a nil-nil draw. Maybe at least a nil-nil draw. Thankfully, whoever went down injured there isn't affected long term. No email after the game to say so-and-so is out for three weeks with a dislocated shoulder. Because he definitely went down... Holding that right shoulder. Whoever it was is okay. And we will now jump into the game against Luton. Who are now below us in the league. And try and get that elusive first win of the season. Luton's 11. James Collins up top with Kazenga Luar Luar again. And Panzu in the midfield. Berry on the bench again. Elected not to sign either of those. I think that was the right decision in the end. Luton Town came up with us last year. They got the second automatic promotion spot. They're a side we feel like we can beat. They're a side that I would love to beat to get our first win at this level. Both sides struggling to make the adjustment to championship football so far this season. Hopefully, we can be the ones that come out on top here. Rolls. Adebayejo and Goy. Dream starts at Kenilworth Road in front of the travelling fans. 
That's what it's all about. Oh, let's go. Potts to Collins again. With that turn, still gets the pass off. Going to go for the one-two, perhaps. Campos gets the block in. Fire it quickly forward. Ah, and Goy's touch is terrible there. Bradley's able to just step in and take the ball away. Monka to Collins around the corner. I'm worried about the pullback. I'm worried about the shot at the near post. Thankfully, it's straight at Norris. And we will comfortably keep our 1-0 lead. Corner for Luton. Nearly half an hour gone. Moncourt, well, loops. Catch that. He's tipped it. Cano will get to it first. We're going to have to make sure we don't lose it, though. He's got the legs to get away from Bradley, thankfully. Brown, switch this. Just help it on its way around the corner there for Noyle. They've had more of the ball than me, Luton, but they haven't yet really caused Norris too much problem. Oh, and Ngoy's in again. Ngoy! Oh, it's two! Julian Ngoy has struggled so far this season at this level. But he's finding his feet. Both of them. One with the right. One with the left. Two for Cambridge. And this could very well be our first win at championship level. And even though we've had less of the ball, we have been able to create more clear-cut opportunities. I don't know what the midfielder was doing there. Just threw himself into that challenge. Got nowhere near the ball. Out wide here to Shea Yojo. And Ngoy's at the back post for a hat shake. Maybe no. What a save from Sluger. Julian and Goy denied a glorious first half hat trick with a stunning volley by a wonderful save by the keeper. Adam Ejo trying to power his way through to get a third for us before half time. It's not to be, but the win might steal. Collins, nice tackle by Cano. Forward there to Adam Ejo. Looking off oh, for Ngoy. Oh, the back heel might cost us. No, it won't. Oh, I thought that pass was going to cost the opportunity there because I didn't feel like it was accurate enough when he first played it. Jack Rolls does have his goal today. Julian and Goy turns from scorer to provider and we have a third. We are going to get a win here. I wanted to turn and play the pass. Well, he did turn and then <laughs> he could have just laid it across with his right foot and just slotted it into Jack Rolls. Thankfully, Jack has buried it on his right-hand side. We are going to get three points for the first time in the championship. And it's going to come against the side that I would rather beat more so than anyone else in this division other than Peterborough United. Our second rival in this division. I cannot tell you how much I want to batter Peterborough United when we play them. But for now, I'm very happy to be winning 3-0 against Luton Town. If there was any other team in this division I'd want to win against, it is them. And we are doing so. And it means even more because of where both teams are in the league too. Massive for us, this. Absolutely huge. Oh, Bolton's destroyed me. Hurst, I oh, read that pass. Thank you. Well done, Cano. Campos to Ojo. And a Biejo through the gap. It could yet be four. He could yet have his hat trick. He does! Union and Goy, three of the best. He's made them pay. Ah, oh, Cambridge four, Luton nil. Let's go. Back to Mpanzu. Oh, decent delivery, but whoa, acrobatically away by Wilson. Bouncing off the top of Maris's head. And we have the opportunity of another counter-attack. Never mind. We don't. Oh, we do. That'll be Ajo. Oh, just, I'm not going to be able to find a passing angle to get it to Maris there. And Goy. And played in by Shea Ojo, who drops his shoulder on the defender. Could it be five? No. No, it can't be five. Oh. Thankfully, we don't need that goal to guarantee the victory. If we were drawing and we'd had that happen to us, oh, I'd have been really, really, really frustrated. Oh, similar in scenario to Ngoy against Middlesbrough. Oh, and Panzu's wrecked me there, but thankfully Kyle Noyle is back on the cover after being drawn out of position. Ethan Clark inside will just reach Don Brown. Here's Maris. We could have another opportunity before the end of the game to look for a fifth goal. And Goy tried to get that to Maris. It wouldn't reach him. We'll try again. We'll get to him on this occasion. Oh, but Ray wins it back. Well, with two minutes to go, we said when Ngoy scored his hat-trick, three of the best he's made them pay. It's three of the best goals that he's scored in his career. 
And it's three of the best points that we've ever earned in our career. Our first set of three points in the championship will come against Luton Town. Clark will deliver. Can we get a fifth? No, it's not to be, but... Oh, a long time coming. It's taken nine games, but a four-goal drubbing of Luton Town at Kenilworth Road, and Julian and Goy takes the match ball. That is very satisfying indeed. I've not got any idea what will happen with regards to the league table. Now, Peterborough lost, but to Blackburn. That's their first win of the season as well. We were the only two sides without a win to this point in the stadium. Press for his stuff. Adebiejo hasn't scored for a while. He scored our first goal at this level, though. Breathtaking from Yulin and Goy today. Absolutely outrageous. And the, uh, we're ready to turn things around, is what we'll say. But we'll just take it a game at a time. We're not going to get carried away. We'll sim the game against Stoke with a rotated 11 before heading into the next game after that against Cardiff, where we shall hopefully see... Berry are offering for him on loan in a lower division. Why West Ham would want him is completely beyond me. Why he'd want to go to West Ham is completely beyond me as well. Uh, Sorry, Greg. I'm just... You just... It's not the year for you, mate. It's not the year. Unfortunately, your rating and age just aren't suitable for a fourth season <sighs> starting place. Vokes gives Stoke a 1-0 lead after six minutes. And I think we might go out of the Carabao Cup here, despite being at home. Kevin Vimmer adds a second. But you would expect Stoke to beat us, and it appears that they're going to. So I'm not too worried about that. Vokes adds a third. Let's not make it embarrassing, shall we, please? Stoke City, thank you very much. We'll take a 3-0 defeat to Stoke. <laughs> Well, actually, just above us in the league there. I thought they are in the Prem. I thought they'd gone back up to the Premier League, Stoke City. We are 16th now. Three points above the relegation zone. But that win for Blackburn against Peterborough was massive. So, Peterborough in the relegation zone. Blackburn beating them to get their first win of the season. Us, 16th. Beat Luton, 20th to get our first win of the season. And now, we face Cardiff, who are bottom. And both of us have only got one win so far this season. Huge games at this early stage of the uh, championship year. Four teams at the bottom of the table. If we can get ourselves just a point against Cardiff, I'd be happy with that. But if we can build on the Luton result with three points again, that would be massive. And would really give us a bit of breathing room between ourselves and the drop zone. Especially considering... If everybody else below us wins as well, including Cardiff, if we lose to them, we'll drop right back into that relegation mix. So winning this game against Cardiff is actually pretty important. But that's why we were playing the three games that we chose to play today. Playing these guys because they're in and around us in the league and we need to take points off them. We've done that so far. We've taken one from Middlesbrough game, three from the Luton game. Let's go and take three more from Cardiff. Cardiff then Neil Etheridge in goal. Callum Patterson further forward. Have we played Cardiff before in this save? I have a feeling we have. I don't know whether it would have been a cup game or whether they, were, they weren't in our league. No, they wouldn't have been in League 2. They weren't in League 1 last year. It must have been a cup game. I'm getting flashbacks to playing Cardiff before, playing against Callum Patterson up top, Neil Lethridge in goal. I can't remember. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments section if we have or not. And you guys will recall better than I do if we did. So many career mode saves over so many years on so many different FIFAs. I just can't cope, keep up memory-wise. And Goy played in. He's the man in form right now. And he's the man involved here. Ah, oh, good interception. Very good interception. Never mind. I see, it might have been Football Manager where I played Cardiff on stream rather than on FIFA in career mode. That might be where I'm remembering playing against Callum Patterson up top when I was manager at Ipswich. I can't remember. I'm an old man now. My brain isn't what it used to be. But the scoreline could be great here. Whoa! I went for the near post smash up. And he smashed it into the net. Just the side netting the wrong side the post. Balls. 
Madison to Reyes. Does reach Petros. And back inside. Good save, Norris. Hits it around the post. Corner for Cardiff. Woods oh, whipped in. And oh, God, that's a terrible clearance by Campos. Absolutely awful. Right into the danger zone. Thankfully, a teammate was there to hack away. Otherwise, that might have set me off. Oh, great footwork from Burko. And he's got support. Collins in the way. And we oh, don't get rid of it. There was a man free there, but I couldn't find him. Wilson's up with a header. To be fair, Wilson's been very good so far at left back, I have to be honest. Thank you for the call to put him into the starting lineup. What is the defender doing? I've gone to attack the ball. I've pressed clear and he stopped moving. I want to see a replay of that. Cano's in the way. I've pressed clear and he stops. He literally, watch him. I'm going to get it. No, he stops running. What are you doing, Cano? Well, up, Don Brown. Comfortable header, but did it well. And Goy, Adebayejo. It's Shea Yojo, in fact. Why would you? I know you're not right-footed, but what are you doing? What is his weak foot there, Shea? Three stars. He's... Got a great opportunity to shoot on his right foot and stand a great chance of scoring a goal there. Just shoot on your right foot here. He's decided to run around the ball and then try and shape for a shot on his left. This cost us the goal scoring chance. Yeah, look like the manager was screaming fuck's sake there. I was practically screaming the same thing. Campos delivers the ball in, flicked away by the defender. We will get to it first there with Noel. I dropped to Nathan Collins, unfortunately. He's not going to bury it from there. Rolls could do something dangerous here, though. Adebiejo's touch lets him down. And Cardiff will come away and keep their lead. They might even extend their lead as Burko's played in behind. Read the turn, and Noel has defended it well. Here's Ryan Woods. Bennett could go back to Woods. Doesn't. Comes inside here to Burko. Fancy touch to Reyes, and Cano steps in. He can't get his clearance away before he's closed down. Woods, Cano in the way again. Corner for Cardiff City. Please don't make it two before half-time. 1-0, I feel it's recoverable. Even though we scored four against Luton, I'm not sure whether Cardiff would open up enough for me to score more than one in this game. It's a good delivery to the back post. Again, Norris tips it away. Under pressure at the end of the half, Woods has just completely ruined my entire FIFA career. And we're going to get rid of it. Well... 1-0 to Cardiff at the break. Although it could. It could be 1-1. Oh, Adam Biejo over the extra pace. Is he going to get through? I don't fancy it from that angle. Oh. After, if he hadn't have missed the way he missed his first chance in this game, I'd have shot then. But because he, last time I tried to blast it at the near post, he put it wide. It put a seed of doubt in my mind. So I tried to play for a more clear-cut opportunity. And that's cost me the opportunity entirely. <sighs> Big second half. Noyle. Forward nicely into rolls. Aye, that's poor. Swept forward to Patterson. And he's gotten away from me. Patterson. No. Right at the beginning of the second half, the task doubles in its difficulty. Carlos City extend their lead. Nice turn. Gets away from Cano there. And the obvious ball into Ryan Woods, who just smashes it home. He was never going to miss there. Ha! Ah, we might be losing to Cardiff. Oh, shit. Could really have done with avoiding defeat here. Desperate for a point. But even more desperate for a point now. Brown. Cross to Ojo. In looking for Adebayejo. Who can't keep possession. Oh, difficult, difficult game here. It could have been oh so different if we'd have scored Adebayejo's first chance. And if I hadn't have bottled the second one. Oh, come on, and Ngoy. Please. There's just so many blue and white shirts around me. I'm sure where to go. Brown, Campos, and Ngoy. Around the corner to Noyle. Ah, oh, it's too easy for the keeper. 
win that header. Well, up. Brown driven forward and Goy to Noyle turns inside well. Oh, had a Biazo foul given. Okay, I mean I didn't think that was a foul, but I'll take the opportunity. Jack rolls from the free kick. Yo, so very nearly pulls us level. It's come close to two free kick goals in this episode so far, Jack. That header was nowhere near close. Adebayejo and Goy's making the run. Oh, tried to back in just to hold the man off. We win the free kick. Sheoji going off and Abadia coming on. And Goy again moved out to the left-hand side. It's a tactic we've utilised a lot this year. And no doubt we'll continue to utilise as well. Jack Rolls is in the box. Oh, keeper's gotten himself back up well. So close to a goal on a number of occasions here in this game. But I cannot get the ball past their goalkeeper. Fed it with the throw for Cardiff as they look to finish us off. Same way we did to Luton. Taste of our own medicine here. But to be fair, four points. Oh, four points from today's three play games is our best haul so far. So there are definitely signs of improvement in the team. But unfortunately, it's not to be three games without a loss played today. But I'm still pleased. I would have preferred to have lost the medals for one and drawn this one. But it is what it is. You can't pick and choose what results you get and when you get them and against who. So we will just settle for the four points today. And lose 2-0 against Cove. We do have a Sims game coming up against Barnsley. But I imagine we'll lose that too. We had chances. But whether we had enough to win that game. Or even draw that game at 2-0. I'm not sure. Should have scored at least one. But I'll say the blame was mine. For missing the opportunities that we had. Uh, but we couldn't play our usual game. Because Cardiff... We're very good defensively. We'll concentrate on what we can do better moving forward. And hopefully tomorrow we can pick up more points again. We're still the highest we've been so far this season. So I have to be pleased with that. And we could yet be slightly higher up or slightly lower down depending on what happens in this next game. Barnsley were third at the beginning of the episode. How has their form changed since then? third wonderful well uh, there's a another defeat coming then probably we're currently 16th as we head into this they have just lost to Stoke but we lost to Stoke in today's episode as well Barra with the goal to give Barnsley a 1-0 lead after just a minute they did race away with the League 1 title. Not quite as much so as Ipswich did with the League 2 title the year before. But Piero and Woodrow scored a hell of a lot of goals for them last season. And they've scored a hell of a lot of goals against us. We're getting a drubbing here. It's going to be Barnsley 4, Cambridge United 0. And we're 19th as we end the episode. With three sides below us all having a game in hand. Huddersfield, Peterborough and Blackburn. If they all win, if they all win, we will drop to 21st. Uh, no, we will drop to 20... Yeah, 21st. We'll drop to 21st because Blackburn will stay below us on goal difference. Oh, well, we'll just have to wait and see what happens, I guess. I'll advance as far as that game against Stoke on the first and see if it updates. Does it update? It does, and we stay 19th. Fair enough. Cardiff was shot up to 17th as they've won another one. We headed into uh, our game against them earlier on with them only having won one game. They've now won two in back-to-back -back games to fire them up the table into 17th. So we are a point above the relegation zone filled by two of our rivals, Peterborough and Luton Town, who we beat today. No Peterborough game yet so far this season, but we do play Stoke again. We've Stoke, Forest, Swansea, Brighton and Wigan tomorrow. I have no idea how any of those games are going to go after today's episode but hopefully a nice haul of points again I'd be happy to take another set of four if we can get them
But that's where we'll draw today's episode to a close. We are going to be embroiled in a relegation fight this season. And I have a funny feeling it's going to be a relegation fight that lasts the full year, unlike season two. We shall wait and see. Thank you very much for watching, though, boys. I'll see you tomorrow.